Greetings, 210-23, February, Friday. I want to tell y'all, learn to respect boundaries. Not just people's boundaries, not just your own boundaries, but just limits in life. Like, if God tells you no, learn to respect that no. Because you'll get to the end of that season of whatever high or stimulation that was going on and you'll see how much you lost because you were so busy trying to enjoy whatever the situation was. For example, it could be a relationship that God told you from the beginning not to involve yourself. Or it could have just been sound wisdom of somebody you shouldn't have let in your circle and you end up finding yourself in an entanglement and catching feelings and doing things over and beyond the call of duty for somebody who does not deserve your time, energy, or what have you. Because it's not somebody you really like. And stop doing stuff for people that you don't like. Confusing you and the person thinking that it's okay to just keep pushing forward on something that doesn't make sense anyway. God is always the uh, uh, Achilles heel of that. Well, that's not a good usage. Uh, it's always a, a source to yield because he knows more about the situation than you. For example, you can see somebody that has every red flag, but at the same time, God will be like, I need you to help that person. I need you to sow into that person. Now, it's up to you whether you're gonna start trying to be in a relationship or catch feelings or something like that, but I tell you, the the closer you get to God, the more you have to lean on him. And the more responsible you are for the decisions that you make, the doors that you go through or allow other people through. I'm learning more and more, pray about everything and wait till you get an answer. And when you already been told, supposedly, I guess in your morning reading or what have you, just trust what you was told during that time and move forward with it. Sometimes the right now steam is uh, exceedingly abundantly more than you can think of as blessing. And I just say, you know what you got when you've been through the fire with it. Whether relationship, knowledge, skills, tools, business whatever you want to put on that you know what you have when you it's been tested and a lot of things we don't test or recognize how it works it's kind of like you get a car and you see what limits it has if you got a small in the car it's probably gonna burn oil if you run at high speeds. If you got a, 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 a big motor car, you run at high speeds, you may throw a rod. It may not be designed to run high speed. It may be just strong for zero to 60, 70 miles an hour. But that's just an example of certain things that you test to know what you got relationships until you see a person mad or upset or you know uncomfortable situation you you don't know how they respond to anger their anger management their emotional uh emotional uh maturity or intelligence and i tell you Sometimes you don't even know 
until you've been pushed in certain situations, how you gonna respond? Because if you've never been in that situation, you can't really say how you gonna respond to it. But especially as you get older, mature, and you recognize certain things you just don't wanna deal with. For example, certain things at a young age might have caused you to get into a fight over it, but at an older age, cause you like, mm, I ain't trying to go to jail. You know, you may let it ride, you know, or, or do certain things to, to avoid worse circumstances. And you don't have to remind people of what you would have did when you were younger or what have you, but at the end of the day, you're learning what your limits are and how you've grown and how you maneuver through the fire. Relationships are important, but your relationship with God is most important. Some bridges you need to burn. You need to just leave certain people alone. After you see the fruit of them being around you, for example, I had a ch I have a childhood friend want wanted to work with me. Every time I come around, don't get no work done. Stuff just start going wrong. I said, you know what? Whatever energy you got, I, it, it just ain't working well with me. I can't bring you to work with me. It's it's just I mean I I have nothing against you. It's just I can't sit up here and waste time, money, energy, and then you expect to have your hand now at the end of the day when we haven't got anything accomplished. So it's just certain things you gotta look at when you're around people and how you transition in life. Life is not existence. Existence is going to work every day and not getting paid. There is so many levels of your journey, your growth, your involvement with people and you have to have that daily walk with God and there are other people that are called to ministry on whatever level they call and you have to recognize from which fountain you're going to drink for your life water for your life um, feedings because when you go to a minister preacher, pastor, bishop, whatever you want to title, you want to give them, because we are children of God. At the end of the day, when we in that, you know, we born into the world, and we going to lead this world. And the only thing that, that makes a difference between us is what we did between those times. So, I'm saying all this to say, be careful who you feed from. At the end of the day, we are people. There are certain people who are anointed, and you have to know scripture for yourself you have to have a relationship with God for yourself to have discernment pray for sound judgment wisdom and discernment because people will twist words for their agenda they will know a lot of scripture and so bent on having their brokenness justified accepted or even try and pull you in with their brokenness that they will twist word to try and get you looking like hmm and if you don't know scripture if you, I mean, even beyond that if you don't understand context of scripture and understand your relationship with God and what God is telling you about certain situations and stuff you open for whatever and will fall for that whatever so it's important to make sure you have boundaries that you respect on the information that you are pre that is presented to you because just because just because it's presented that doesn't mean it's a gift for you to receive i like that just because it's presented to you it's not a gift for you to receive so in your present state make sure you present yourself in a mind that is sober conscious of 
what's going on and don't go for just whatever somebody says and you don't have to get into a confrontational fallout dropout just because you disagree we can disagree and amicably continue a conversation on something different and you don't even have to engage with certain conversations to say hey, i choose not to talk about that and if they choose to keep pushing on it you have a nice day i thank you for your time and keep moving you know how you filter and process information better than anybody and for those y'all with a very vivid imagination be careful what you allow into that mind of yours because the garden of your mind will take that seed plant root and that weed root that is meaning something that is not fruitful for you that is not good for your mental capacity will grow wild and destroy some good things in your mind destroy relationships because your mind is so captivated on stuff that makes no sense your raising of your children the information that you disseminate just be careful of the seeds that you plant allow or allow to be planted in your head always judge a tree by its fruit just because somebody making money that don't mean they can tell you everything about life they can tell you about making money or how they made money and they mean that might not be your calling i know for one thing i i can sit behind a desk for a while but at a certain point i gotta get up and move I, so even i look at it as i transition to my body having more years on it notice i ain't say getting old i am thinking about the types of activity that i engage to make sure my body is able to boundaries able to service me with longevity because one thing for sure i do not want to be in a wheelchair at 50, 60, 70 years old, on a cane, taking pills the rest of my life. Now I do take vitamins and I don't take them every day, but I do take, do take vitamins regularly to make sure my health is in order. I pray for divine health every day, boundaries. So you have to respect the boundaries of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual and financial health don't go out here spending money like you crazy thinking that it's just gonna come as fast as you spending it if you're spending it faster than it's coming in you're doing yourself a disservice you're not respecting the boundaries of your financial budget or and one thing i appreciate a friend teaching me cook at home you save a lot of money by cooking at home and going out to eat it, it costs to go out to eat it really costs to go out to eat it costs gas to get there time waiting on your food hoping praying over it and hoping that it was prepared well when you make your own food you know what you got now i'm not trying to put any damper on going out to eat but i am saying be wise in your spending even shopping for 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 significant others just take time to figure out first of all what does this person like am i able to afford what this person is like can i give them something that can be appreciated at the end of the day a card with a gift card or some cash in it hey especially something giving telling how you feel about them that's all that, that should always be appreciated if not then guess what you might be with the wrong person but that's for you to that's between you and the Lord to decide. And sometimes it, 
it, it, it may be wise to to plan ahead to make sure you get you are able to get this person the thing that they want if this is where you're supposed to be anyway I, I, I feel like I'm going all over the place but I, I am centered around boundaries it is so important to have boundaries for yourself for your relationship for your finances for whatever and I'm not saying limit you you know you should limit how much you bring in or set limits on that like I'm not gonna be able to make so many you know so many so much money or whatever but I will say set limit on how much you're gonna spend create a budget based on your lifestyle or even if your lifestyle exceeds the amount of money that you're bringing in adjust it adjust it so that you can even if it's a minute for surviving that you can survive and when I say survive, I mean just doing basic necessities. Food, shelter, and make sure you can get back and forth work until the next, you know, check come in. And put yourself in a position where you're you're not financially strapped every time the bills come around. I tell you, <laughs> some people don't recognize the power of bills being well I'm not saying that right some people do not respect due dates that's what I'm trying to say they do not understand that you cannot live these fanciful lifestyles meaning trying to keep up with social media lifestyles that how people post drink all day smoke all day uh, shop all day have the finest of clothes have name brand everything down to your paper towels and your toilet tissue I mean it costs now if you're able to afford that fine but you know if every month you coming up short on rent or food or gas money or something because you just have to have this name brand whatever or you have to have these shoes or you have to have this I mean come on and Young people, I ain't even gonna say young people. Learn that you keep up with yourself and stop burning by trying to keep up with everybody else. Especially if you got kids looking forward to you having a place for them to stay, making sure that child support or rent is paid or school activities are paid or whatever it is just make sure that you are able to okay a lot of a lot of uh transition going on, on the other side of the street my i apologize for my um my distracted conversation but anyway um when you see 20 police cars running down the road it's like uh don't shoot god damn let me get out of the way <laughs> but anyway um it was a funeral motorcade but just back to the point when your children are depending on you to have stability remember your children that asked to come here they, they, they didn't ask to come here you did what you did or didn't do and they came through one way or another so with that they are an expense they are and they they should have a stable live up upbringing they should have a stable upbringing and if, if your lifestyle that you're leading is costing your children you're not a good parent you're not a good parent no parent is perfect but at the very minimum, your child should have food, clothing, and shelter. They don't have to have name brand everything. You can go to Goodwill and get name brand clothes, go in the rich folk area, some of that stuff half used, and have um, tags still on it. Whether it's Goodwill or whatever secondhand you know, uh, store that may sell clothes or whatever. But I mean, if, if that's your thing that you have to have your, your children have to have name brand stuff but you don't have to spend 
crazy amounts of money just to clothe them. And just because something got messed, messed up, that don't mean you gotta buy something new. Wash it, teach them how to wash their clothes. You mess this up, oh, this how you put the soap on it, scrub it together, okay? That's how we rinse it, keep washing to get the stain out. Peroxide takes out a lot of blood stains. Ladies, 